for a small group tonight, which is disappointing because we have important stuff, but let's get going. Um, <clears throat> the major, or not major, but one question tonight is which gives out first? Like do we finish the agenda first or just like voice start first? I promise you I do not have COVID and I have allergies. Do I have a motion? Regarding the April 25th. Hey, Kat. Here we are. <laughs> Do I have a motion about to accept the minutes from our last meeting? Did anybody read the minutes? <laughs> How do you get rid of this stupid thing? I'll make a motion to accept the minutes. Thank you. Any? Oh my gosh, you were awesome. Why would you, you push? I did. I pushed about 10 times. Okay, do I have a second? Yes. I have a motion and a second. Any comments, revisions? I can't have gotten it all right because I didn't have Jane last time and I'm like, thank you, Jane. Okay, all in favor of accepting the minutes as submitted? Aye. 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 All opposed? Done. Okay. Fundraising update, important, couple important things. Anyone who does not, I'm trying to decide do I form phrases in the negative or positive. If we have a donation by May 15th, and I'm looking at Lisa as I'm saying this to make sure this is right, their logo, if it is a donation over $1,000, their logo can be on the banner that we will display at town meeting. Yep, sir. And if it's under a thousand or if any amount, including under a thousand, can be listed on the back of the schedule of events because I've created tiers of partners, sponsors, donors, and I forget the Okay, I have the yeah. same uh, But we have to have commitment by May 15th. We have a couple people. Oh, there's Ashley. If people sitting on that room see on here that somebody's trying to get in, let me know because I'm not watching the screen. Thank you. Um, we have a couple who have committed to giving us money. We have not yet received the money, but we know they're good for it. That's fine. But we need to know for sure because. Lisa talks to the printer on May 16th. Or <laughs> is that okay? Is that okay? When's town to... meeting again? The 24th. The 24th. Yes. Yeah, we have plenty of Okay. I'm just I'm I'm saying this, but I'm looking to you to tell well, me. Well, we have some options, and that's what I wanted to talk about. Okay. Can we take a minute? To yeah, talk about that? definitely. So I've been working on all the advertising of the banners and posters and everything. And so um let's start with this is the banner for to hang up at the town hall. I'd like to hang one on the fence by the milk bottle. This will be eight feet wide by two and a half, about two feet tall. Can people on the screen Sorry see? Sorry about that. I don't have my computer. If you pass it down here, I can hold it. Okay. So, so that would be the general banner. Then I made one up that has the, the sponsors. Right on the side that we would put up the yeah, table for the town hall or tables when we're selling souvenirs and things like that. But then I had a better idea this afternoon as I was working up on the lawn signs, right? Because it all goes together. Um, the lawn signs would look like this. Nice. Right. That's good. Or we could do a lawn sign with a low, a single logo on each one and scatter them throughout town. So they would look like, you know, different logos. Or the other option I came up with this evening is we have one sponsor, one sponsor lawn sign that we can use everywhere. And then we can just have a general banner to hang out and then have lawn signs everywhere with all the sponsors. And then we wouldn't have to have two two different banners. What do people think? So these are all options that I've been coming yeah. up with. I like the idea of thanking the sponsors. I definitely like the idea of thanking the sponsors, but I'm thinking lawn signs are really important for communicating to the community 
when it's happening? Well, we would do both. We would do, if we did this, we would do this one and this one together, two separate ones. Okay. Right? Or we could do one where we put a single donor on each one. I think I prefer having everybody. Right. So, so now having just it'd be easier. I agree too. Yeah. 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 Everybody. Yeah. Right. I agree with that. Everybody, otherwise someone gets a good location and someone gets a bad location. Right, then that means yeah. we're putting double the, the long signs, but the, the printer says they're gonna give us a really good deal, like $12 a piece on them. So we could easily, yeah. right, so we could easily have two, everybody gets two banners. And then when we did like, you know, the tabling and stuff, we wouldn't have to have um, this banner. We could have this nice one. I don't know if you guys noticed they did the town hall on it. And then we can have, and then we can have this as a lawn sign right next to it with all the sponsors. I, I mean, it like gives that. the sponsors more. That gives the sponsors more attention anyway to have it around. Yeah, town. Yeah. yeah. And I, it's just it was hard because this really sh like crams them all in. Yeah. I mean, granted, it's large. You'll see it, but I just thought this is so pretty. I would hate to, you know, lose the town hall because that's our iconic image, and then we would have this. So anyway. I like I like that. What, so I guess that's all that I've been working on. <laughs> um, how do I put choice, a multiple choice question to a vote? Um, do people? Okay, I guess I'm going to do the one at a time. Vote once. Vote if you want the banner without yes. logos and a lawn sign accompanying with logos. Say aye. 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 If you want banner with logos on it <clears throat> and not the lawn sign with the logos, or I suppose we can still have the lawn sign. Well, I mean, we can have all versions of the lawn sign. Yeah, but if you want the logos on the banner instead, say I. You have your answer. There you go. So I is everybody willing to put, I guess it's now two lawn signs right. on your yard? Um, okay. One is the informational, with the pretty blue one that has when and where kind of thing. Yep. That one. That one. And then one thanking our sponsors so that we're all over town. Because yep. as soon as we can get those. We can, we can, as soon as we can, can, I mean, if we know this has not changed, which it's not, right? Everything's, is, yeah, we can print these. Once we have all the sponsors, then we can print these. Okay. And then we can start putting everything out. We need to be advertising. We need to get all these banners, everything yeah. all over yeah. town. And yeah. so, and then also I, I can have this one printed however many we want, and we can start hanging these. So I guess Keith, I was gonna yeah. ask you about what the printer. What? Who is the printer? I'm gonna use Sunrays printing and have we? Which one? Sunrays. Sunrays. Right. She has a good relationship. Yeah, it's a printer I use for work all the time, and he's willing to work with me on all this stuff. So depending on when they come in, we can do a couple of things. One is if it's in close to the 24th, the agenda is wrong. Apparently, we have a meeting scheduled on May 23rd. I thought that was going to be Memorial Day, but I, I have been corrected that Memorial Day is the following week. So our next, I know I'm going to the end of our agenda, but our next meeting is May 23rd, which is the night before town meeting. If we brought them to the meeting, if people could pick them up and take them and also take some, if you think of places around town that you think you can put them up, we want the, we want to plaster the town with these. So I guess I need to have a quantity of these. So we have mentioned like 50, is that enough? Do you think? I mean, first of there's all, 20, yeah, there's 25 people on the committee. I don't know that everybody will be able to take them. And then if we've got 25 more for. We can bring them to the town meeting if anybody wants to take them. Yeah, yard. yeah. And, and <coughs> you guys get four? I'm sorry? Yeah, how many signs do you have in your lot? As many as we can fit. <laughs> And I'd be good just to get them up along like any major road in town. Well, so my other question is, is so the banner, which is going to be eight feet wide, I can put one on the town hall. I'd like to put one on the fence in front of the milk bottle. Where, and then, oh, and can we have one? Um, I took a ride through town on Saturday down by the cake on the backdrop of, yep. on the fence there. 
Yes. So there's yes. three. This How about one at the school? Yeah. That would yeah. be awesome. Oh. Well, where, but yes. where would they hang a banner? Is there, is there a place there's there? There's something else. Yes. Well, there's a fence along long. Okay, line. I don't know where we, all right, that's fine. So that's- You probably put it along that. That's the fence four. Facing Did we do Can this? they hang one up the bridge over 91? I, I mean, all of these that you're saying are all for local people. I, I don't know. I look to Keith for that question. Keith, Keith or Bates, can we, are we allowed or to do that? Or somewhere on the yeah, main I, route. I don't know whether Mass TOT would come take it down. They okay. can be a little touchy touchy with things of that nature. What about Hurley? Can we put one down there? Yeah, go on a train link fence early. Okay. okay, so there's five. Um, I'm trying to picture my way around town. I literally drove all over this. Do we need one in front of town offices? Yeah. Yeah, I thought about that, but I just looked. I don't know how we would attach it. Is, is Muffins a sponsor? Yes. Yes. Can you put one on there? A banner? Well, he can have a lawn sign, but where would we put a banner? The banners are large. Don't they have a fence there? No. no. How many times? They don't have a fence. Oh, yeah, they do have a wooden fence. He has a wooden picket fence, so you can maybe Gary could attach it to so. Is, is there any place between the exit and the exit off 91 heading up towards Deerfield that you know to get people coming off? Of? Yeah, I, I, I just I can't picture it to know if there's any place that would work. I talked that... to the owners of the, the new owners of the Sugarloaf shop, put on their split rail fence or their metal fence out. I know there's an issue with putting anything on on five and ten. It's a state road, you know, and it's yeah, mass DOT is pretty good. Yeah, yeah, and they're fairly expensive. We, yeah, we do just, not. The banners are really really expensive, so we want to make sure that when we put them, they're not going to get taken down. But the lawn signs aren't, so we can easily just put them everywhere. But the mass DOT will take. It. Right. So, so put things out for the historical. If we yeah. put it on, they they would be gone the next day. Well, Tom's is technically on state. But if it's on, if, if you go to Gary fence. and he puts it on his fence, okay. Mass DOT can't touch. Okay. Just so is there like a right of way? So and if that gives yeah. us five. Why don't we start with five? And if we find another location, we can have another one today. Sounds great. That, that sounds good. I'm just trying to think of us. We want to order it depends on the Well, they're pretty expensive. So, I mean, okay. they can print them yeah. as need on demand. So, oh, I would say, let's just do that. Go for it. Okay. Awesome. So, that's five banners. And, Keith, would I be able to get you to help hang these? Thank you. Sure. All right. Sorry. No, no, don't, don't apologize. That was good stuff. I want to go back to the fundraising because somebody mentioned muffins. Uh, but we may need Amy to answer this question because she was not here. Um, muffins originally had donated, but then they were going to do food, I think, for family day. And I'm just not sure what the classification was off the top of Amy for that. They pulled their, they, you gave the check back. To I them. gave the check to Amy to right. get back Amy, to them. It hasn't been cleared back through yet. But they've taken the check back and they are going to provide food, some more additional food for family day. Awesome. Sam sandwich type stuff, finger foods. I just need to know the it's in kind value. So of... I believe we'll be in the same category. Perfect, perfect. That's all I need, thank you. Also on fundraising, does anybody know Chip? Because the one big place we have not heard from in town is Waverly Inn. We know they've been approached a couple of times. I had talked with Chip a couple of years ago, and he said it was, you know, he had it in the budget. I think it was Teresa a while talked to him, went in a few months ago, and he was out. He's been sick. He's been sick, talked to his wife, and the wife said, we'll probably do in kind. Is there anybody who not like I don't know them? Anybody who knows them? Gary's yeah, going out for surgery the week of our festivities. Oh, lovely. So maybe we just leave them alone. And, um, Gary, Gary, you're talking. Oh, Gary, Gary or Chip? Wait a minute. Am I talking Chip, about? Chip's already had his surgery. He's had another one the week of our festivities. Oh, he is. He's having his second week on, yes. 
I just don't, I don't want them to feel that they, they need to be, it needs to be, um, they need to be aware of the, the banner. And the yeah, sponsors. exactly. Exactly. I don't want them mad at us that they feel right. they didn't have the opportunity in the future. It's like, not that we're desperate that? for the money. Money is great and we can you know, use money. It, that's not what it's about. It's about do they want to have their name out there, but is there anybody who can have that conversation with somebody? There? I talked to Chip the other day. I'm on my way to Kentucky, by the way. Um, he said, I asked him if he wanted to still have a food stand on the front parade. He said, I'm too busy. I don't have the time that week. So, I mean, if he wanted to do something else, I'd be happy to talk to him. If he wanted to do it, if he had something to ask him for, I'd be happy to ask him. I don't know that there's a specific ask that we have as much as do they want to find a way that works for them to be a sponsor so that their name is out there with all of this material that we're going to have out there with lots of names? Do we know if Teresa actually gave Chip uh, sponsors? I'm pretty sure she did. Okay. Well, gave it to the wife because he was out. Well, she runs a business. Uh, I'm just... Just saying. Yeah. I, I'm, so maybe it's talk to her. I just, I don't know these people. So it would be more effective if somebody who has a relationship with them went in. I don't care. I you should know all that. Yeah, I, I would think they would want to have done enough to be on the publicity because then people would miss them if they weren't. Yeah. He's, he's advertising the fireworks for Friday night. So you have dinner on a, on a balcony. Friday night. <laughs> so he's looking for financial, like by doing that, he will be earning money from this. I feel like we need to ask. And if we ask, I mean, he needs that. We need a decision by the 15th. Yes. And unfortunately, you know, even if he wants to do it in kind, we've been operating on the assumption, you know, with no assumption of anything from him. So it's really nothing. Got to nail something down. Yeah, there's really nothing in kind that we're sort of plug, you know, hope to plug them in for. John, can you handle that? I don't care. You want? To, I don't care. Either you or I. Well, one of you. Okay. If, if, if one of you can go in and talk to him, and if he says no, that's okay. Right. <laughs> but I want to make sure he knows that he's got the choice. Thank you. Let me know what happens. Okay. I do not have anything else on fundraising. Any, <laughs> anybody have any anybody have anything else on fundraising? Just that it's been going very well. I, I can report it's been going well. We've got several other pledges and and I just got an email confirming a thousand dollar pledge. While um, we've been sitting here, I saw Chris. it. It's gonna be a fair amount of money that we do not use from the out of the towns set aside. Which was always the hope. Okay, for the events, <coughs> for all of the events that we are having, we have been provided one budget. Guys, no, you're no, no, John. Gave me oh, you got. I was supposed to buy the meeting. No, I needed three, three budgets. Oh my gosh. Oh. Okay, so we have that. We actually know the budget for fireworks. Sarah, on the fireworks, you had a question of can we get an invoice I in advance? I have already been okay, in touch with Sarah. Okay, so I'm not worrying about money. Um, I'm going to go through the questions that I have on events very quickly. If people have things to bring up about an event, please do so. But again, in the interest of getting out of here before my voice gives out. The arts and crafts, um, have you been able to connect with whomever is the keeper of the quilt? Yes. We're all good on that? Yeah. Lovely. Do, do they have the older one too? Not that I know. It was given to somebody. We don't have I'm sorry, I did not read We don't have Oh. Yeah. I'm at this point. It is what it is for anything. We're all just doing the best we can. Yeah. You know, I so just hope it didn't get lost permanently. Was it given to somebody? I like, thought I thought Melissa called and came and got it from, but I can't. 
I can email her. I've been in touch with her. That's, we should follow up on if she has any idea where it is. Because, I mean, we're going to feel terrible about so that. So, was it in our possession? Was it taken out of the historical society, given to the full committee so they could see what was done? That was my understanding. But again, I it was so long ago. Okay, I can email Melissa. That's totally fine. Um, Thank you. Any update? Anything to say? I, I will ask on everything if there's something to be said. Anything to be said on the barbecue, or we're good to go. The tickets are out. What do you mean the tickets are out? Only. I only the in oh they're not online yet I don't know Ashley where are Ashley, our tickets are okay, well, let let's hold ticketing because okay. that's a bigger conversation all right we will, I promise we'll get back to that Ashley don't go anywhere till we get back to that um, understood I was hoping I was hoping Joyce would be here because Joyce was going to follow up with Gary after your conversation with him to confirm and I haven't heard from her. Okay, I just. I'm glad when, you said. When I so. talked to Gary, said the other day, he said somebody should talk to me. I said okay. That goes on my list to follow up. Um, because he said I understand we're having a cruise night here. Okay. <laughs> okay, I will follow up with her. Um, concerts. I think we have all the bands, but I know that that was. Do we know if we have a band for the chicken barbecue? We didn't two weeks ago. Oh, didn't right. know. Yeah, with live music. Was that the milk bottle? I will check the poll. Yeah, milk bottle. Who is it? No, I don't know. We just, you're right. It says live music. Oh. This is the most up to date. Okay, oh. yeah. I will follow up with Paul on that. This is why I go through these things because I don't know what we're missing. Uh, ecumenical service, anything on that? The, Good. Letter, the letters are out. We're just waiting for their replies. Nice. Family Day, anything to report on that? Frosty, I think you are recommend you are representing Family Day. Um, nothing new. We're just going along. We're meeting on Thursday, and we'll be finalizing. We have aerial maps that we will be, you know, putting all of our events on the map so we can coordinate it. Um, I have. Mark Bouchier, he'll be coming in, putting in temporary power for the bounce houses. Um, but as Frosty said, everything is should be under control there. Amy is working on the getting the flyer done, which should be printed and out pretty soon. So good. Where are we on food for that event? We have the the one food truck plus what we're getting for muffins. Okay. Um, any concerns, any <coughs> thing you need us for? No. Awesome. And yeah. so the trend is. Oh, we haven't talked about that. So. <laughs> I keep turning people away for that. Jump back to the quilt. I just asked my wife if she knew anything about if she's in the yeah. quilt thing. <clears throat> she knew anything about the town's old quilt. She said the last time she saw it was at the first quilt meeting, and Melissa Caldwell had it. Okay. Thank God. Well, I've been she, and she says we were at the library. Yeah. Had it then, but it doesn't mean she. I know, but I. Okay, I can. I will email Melissa I, tonight. I, I would doubt Melissa moved it. No, her. she wouldn't. But I think she. She, she might know. She gave it to right. someone else on the quilt committee. Right. Because yeah. I don't have it. I will see what she says. Thank um, you. Fireman's muster. You have submitted your budget. You have a budget. Yes. Awesome. Fireworks. We've talked about. Again, stop me if I'm going too fast and you've got something to say. If anybody knows any whereabouts of snow fence or poles for the fireworks, we're going to put up like 600 feet of uh, snow fence for that. Yeah, okay, that's 300 feet. I might be able to help you with that, John. Let me look, let me look into it. Okay. Thank you. Uh, there you go. The library event. I talked to Allison today. She's working on the panorama. Fred and Keith are coordinating the, to order the physical stand thing. The order will go in tomorrow. And then we're hoping it comes in time. And we, so we're still six weeks out, so we're, we should be okay. Five weeks out. Right. Um, balloon rides. 
Library. We are all set. The only thing that will throw a monkey wrench in is the weather. Yeah. We so need a way to broadcast that to, because I think that's going to be a big draw. Um, I don't know if anybody from the library has talked to you. I don't know. Who. Okay. Uh, but we want to make sure that that is included. And actually, Ashley, we should make sure that that's on the website page for the library. Yep, writing it down. Because that, that, I think it'll be that and the, the band that we have are big, big deals. And we want to make sure that that and is. Well you done. have the, the numbers I gave you for the cost per hour. Do you still have that? Yeah, I've got it someplace. Okay. That is, I, that has not changed. I Good. Think that. Excellent. We're just going to need some form of crowd control. Yeah. That whether we sell tickets in advance and sell is a loose term of it's a ticketed event. Do as people come, they sign up. We can we can't have people just scrambling to get on. It's got to be somehow pre-reserved even if it's just reserved you know, 15 minutes ahead the times that i've seen them do that they they've done it enough times where they pretty much got a routine down okay yeah. Yeah. so we don't have to take care of that maybe well well paul he has it like i've just said he's got a good routine the question is are we if we're charging individually or if we're covering the cost we, we maybe the best way to handle that would be to wait and see we could have something loosely in place so to speak if we find that we get there and there's 500 people there then maybe we have to try to do something where we have tickets somehow to try to whereas if we get there that night and there's only 100 people there it's everybody can go up maybe twice if there are more than once if they wanted to. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's it's really going to come down to seeing <clears throat> what we have and if for people that's my yeah. Yeah. Don't you agree? That, absolutely. That if yeah. it's if it's not that many people, then we can more or less turn it loose in regards to not having to charge I, or just. And he knows how much flight time he's got in his gas tanks and knows that, okay, I can do a 30 second flight. I can be with two minute flight, right. I mean, you know, whatever. He can, he he did say, right. he can adjust it to a longer, a longer and high, you know, a little bit higher and, and, and drag, you know, and make it go a little longer. Whereas if there's a long line, he can shorten it up. I, I think we might need to plan for worse pace of the crowd, but I don't, I don't want to be Inventing okay. something on the fly if 500 people show up. Uh, worst case is a thunderstorm. <laughs> yeah. Or high wind. No, for, for, as far as crowd control, that's the best case. <laughs> that's actually makes it a lot easier. Okay. Or the basket. Um, anything else on library though? Do we have anything? Okay. Um, sort of the, the time capsule. I need. Um, I know it's our the 18th is the drop deadline as far as getting the components into the time capsule. So I mean that's I expect that we should be able to have everything compiled way before June 18th. I have a pile already in my house. But Thanks. that is the deadline from the school. Did they do a test run? Yeah, and they um, they also said that as a safety precaution, they'll um, wrap it in fiberglass. Yeah. I know. I I questioned it, and they are confident that it will not burn up when they open it. Nope. It will be because it's um, cool welding, some form of a tick. Right. Old welding, I guess they call it. Parade, anything to say on the parade? I'm still taking reservations. My phone rings every day now. Good. Um, I'm a little disappointed. I have 
no select port from anywhere, including Whaley. Exactly. Um, I do know that this I, is. I, I haven't received my invitation. <clears throat> I delivered, hand delivered all the invitations to the select port, to the, all the towns and the neighboring towns. Um, we, I know that you had a parade last time. Uh, not a parade. I had float a year ago. I, I was there I, a year ago. I understand that it's going to be done again. And um, we don't know who you put on it. Uh, I'm beginning to have people issues if people call me because they don't have computers. So I am going to hand deliver these forms. So a couple of people, one in Hatfield, one in Sunderland. Uh, let me see, there was another issue that, that was out there. I can't remember what it was. You don't have a computer either? Jeez, <laughs> what is this world coming up? <laughs> Ballpark at this point about how many I don't, yeah. I don't know. I haven't compiled them yet. I just, I get them, I put them in a folder, I put them in a computer, and I get it. Do you really need reservations? Or can you no. show up last minute? Uh, if you show up last minute, you're not going to be there. Because, oh, I know what it was. It's, we've turned on, as far as I know, we've turned on Hatfield Hellions because they won't sign the insurance. We're not going to have that. At this point in time, they, they, they will not sign. I, when I talked to a representative from the Hatfield Hellions the other day, he said it will cost us $800 to have them in a parade. I said, I don't have a problem with that. And there will be no signatures. And it's non negotiable. I sent him a text back. We says, we have to have that signature. Because that's what our lawyers say. We have to have yeah. it. Yeah. And these, these, Forms will be available that day to sign if people do show up and I don't have on record so that they can participate in the parade or they're not going to go. That's Good. what, the, that's yeah, what, we have to be that's what Mr. Bates will be there for. Yeah. <laughs> have to be strict. Yeah. Okay. Um, so even is if it worth asking? Yeah. Okay. Um, so we have a different member. It's only me and Joyce who would be in the next meeting. Yeah, but it still needs you need to come back. Was was there ever any discussion about having the former uh, queen and her court on in a car or something? We uh, discussed that a week ago. Yes. Not, not two yet. Not yesterday. Not yesterday. A week ago. A week ago, we just discussed that at the freight committee, and we decided that we are going to have the Queen and her court from 50 years ago in our parade. And yes. we will find them something to write on. I'm not sure what we're going to find them to write on. We have, that hasn't gone that far, but. That's pretty cool. cool. And it may be a wagon, it may be a hand wagon. At least those that are willing to come. Yeah. We yeah. already know that they're all in Bill, Bill, no, they're not. Billy, uh, which one? Was in um, North Carolina. Diane Kostowski is living in North Carolina, so I'm not sure that she's going to get back here, but the rest of them are all local still. That's really cool. That would be very nice. Yeah, I like that idea. Good. Okay. Anything else? Oh, good night. We're good. You're good. That's all. Um, right. That's fine. The one thing that I do have an issue with, and it's super minor, is you had given me, or you gave me a gift of something from Norse Farm. Yeah. I'm not sure how to handle that because we do not have a raffle going on. We don't have like any door prize. This is the only thing we have to give away. And I'm not quite sure if there's an event happening that is doing a raffle that we could maybe talk to Norse and see if we could Give it to that event, but our polka night's not that type of event. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I don't know. I've talked about maybe we have a <coughs> polka dance contest, but I've heard that's harder to set up than a raffle is. So I'm like, all right, well, we're not doing that. So in a raffle, we have to get so many more prizes, and it's just talk to a couple people about it. It's too much of a headache for what we want to do. Yeah. So. And I'm glad, I'm glad we go out and talk with the Norses. I have no issues doing that. 
but I didn't know if there was another event. Yeah, let's let's I'm think about think that. Um, let's yeah, I'm not sure why we got it. They were just trying to be generous. It's yeah. awesome, and I, I right. love it. I respect it very much, but unfortunately, it's just not. It's not our. It's not our venue that we right. we're doing it around. Why would they sign up for something when they come in for the craft fair? No, it's not a craft fair. Okay, we, we will let's all think about that. John, John, unfortunately, all the snow fence is being used that weekend for Green River Festival. So, I didn't know that. Thank you. All right, I, I tried. Yeah, so, other than that, I, I think we're, we're going well. Uh, talk, I got to sit down with Keith and kind of get an overview. Again, but we're on the same page. We talk a lot Good. as far as the, the alcohol for the free events. The liquor license question? Yeah, done. We've, yeah, that's all been done. Um, and we have all of our servers for all of the events. Um, now it's just for my event, is where we're going to put the beer trailer or whatever it is and the food. But okay. We differ on that location. I will win. Of course, you deserve to. My bad. Right. Okay. Uh, steam engine show. Anything happening on that? Well, we did get the brand made for brand new shoes. Okay. That works good. I think we're we're good. Excellent. Tractor parade. Anything happening? On the that? flyers and the application were printed today. JD, the chair person, will be picking them up tomorrow. So the committee will start trying to peddle them around town, but we're also wanting to make sure that our, you know, the social media and marketing, well, you know, everybody can also put the word out too to get to contact us or, or we can maybe even have some applications here where some people could just stop and pick them up. Good, okay. Hey, Keith, can you, do you have a, a PDF version of the the final draft that I could post and- I'll, I can make one. I, I'll, or I'll ask JD to, because what you got was in Word, right? It was, yeah, I mean, I can, I don't know if what I had was the final version, but um, I mean, I can, okay. even I'll if you- I'll just tell JD to get a, a PDF. If it's in Word, you just save it as a PDF. Okay, or I'll ask him if he made any any changes before it went to press. All right, because then I can just put a push out through Instagram and Facebook, and even I can even pop it up on the web page too. So. I'm just gonna find out if. Yeah, I know that. I just don't know if he changed it. Okay. Um, I want to get back to ticketing. I'm hoping saving that because that's going to be our biggest conversation. Photography, were you ready, Keith? Were you able to talk to Barbara Walker? I talked to Barbara and she said she would be glad if she's somewhere and she feels that she, you know she could take some pictures, she might, but she does not want to be responsible for any specific event. She said the camera that she has is nothing of any significance. She's not, you know, she, she enjoys doing some photography, but she does not have high tech. She just has a real simple camera. She said to me that most people's smartphones take better pictures than what she has, but. Okay. That's the one area that I feel like where we could still use help on if there's any Anybody knows anyone who is good with the camera? Did anyone check with Alan McCardle? Alan McCardle? Oh. Joyce is waiting to come in. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Wow. Where did she go? Okay, I know, I know Alan. I can talk to him. Okay. Um, so souvenirs. 
Earlier this week, I placed an order for something in the ballpark of 460 t-shirts because we ended up needing close to 100 just for the volunteer. It kept growing and growing since you and I talked. And we finally were able to set to settle on a number and uh, we will have hopefully supplies if allowing. We will be selling royal blue. We will be volunteers will be wearing red. They will have the logo on the front left and across the back it will say the one and only way. So those will be really cool. My thinking based on the price, but I need the committee to finalize this, is for the ones we're selling, adults are $15. They were costing us between something like between eight and $12, depending on the size. Most of them are the $8 range. The large ones went up from there. So if we sold them for $15 and the kids' ones selling those for like 12. How does that sound to people? Okay, buddy. Yeah. All in favor of that price then? I keep forgetting to take those. All right. All right. Anybody opposed? Aye. Sounds good. Okay, so we've got the shirts, we've got the milk, the bowl of milk bottles, we've got the Yankee Candle candles. That's all that we're planning on selling. Susan, yeah. Sorry, I have a question. Do you have the counts on the different sizes so that I can put that into our um, square in, app? Yes, it is in the our master spreadsheet, which is called schedule of events. There is a tab there for t-shirts. Okay. There's the color coded column, not at the top, but sort of midway down, there's a summary table. All right, and I will look for that. If I need help, I'll, I'll ask you. No, I was just, just gonna say, if you it's like, what the hell did she do? <laughs> Call me. Or, or talk to me because I've got the bill from. Yeah. All right. So we, from the maker. Good. Um, did, did you get a timetable from them on when we figured to see? No, because she had to check on the supply. Okay. Once they are in, it takes them about uh, two to three weeks to print them up, but she had to make see if they needed to order because we wanted so many. Uh, I have not heard that yet. Okay, uh, the scoop. I have that, Joyce, I have that the date is, you need our article for the regular scoop, May 18th. In this scoop issue, I would like to talk about ticketing, saying that Certain events will be like you know, lay out the events that will be ticketed, what the prices are for tickets, if they are there are prices, how they get tickets, talk about being a town meeting, because we don't want to wait until the event to, to be communicating that. Okay. Which brings me to we need to resolve ticketing. Ashley, I think I just turned this over to you, even though we didn't talk about it. But what do you need to make this happen? We're very close. <laughs> so um, I've met with our, our, our the ticketing app that we're going to be using to answer just some final questions. I've got the hardware so that we can use Square to sell in person. So we can do that ahead of time at um, town meeting or anything else. We can also do it at an event, like as a box office type of thing. Um, I think I have all the details I need for the chicken barbecue for the two concerts that we are selling tickets for to get those compiled. I will have John already reviewed the tickets for the chicken barbecue and I think that's looking good. Joyce, once I have the concert tickets up, I'll have you review those. Once we have those up, um, we'll be ready to sell tickets in person or online. Now I, I talked with Joyce and we're gonna wait until about 10 days before the concerts to open up online sales. That way we can kind of make sure that Waitley residents are getting first dibs at those at some local events. Um, but 
I think we're, we're ready to kind of to, to pull that trigger and, and start promoting ticketing. But the thing that we really need to resolve is um, who is selling the tickets, who's going to be manning the box office table per se, um, and, and at what events, um, and make sure that we um, have the hardware in the hands of the people that are going to be needing to sell tickets. Making sure they know how to use the app to do so also. The events that we had talked about selling on that, we were pre-selling them were town meeting and historical society festival on the 29th. I'm yeah. looking, looking to Adelia as I'm yes. saying that. Yeah. Okay. Are there other events? I don't know what other events there might be. Hmm. Joyce, yeah. Joyce has some events. <laughs> I had a suggestion um, and it, I was just thinking about how to make things more available, especially for the concerts, if we're gonna delay having it um, available on the web. The Historical Society is in their space every Tuesday morning from nine to 12. And I was in touch with Neil Abram and he said, well, that really means the town hall is unlocked. Um, so if you wanted to come and sell tickets there, during the time they're open, that would be one like regular place that you could go to to do that. Um, so if we can set up a table there, um, and I was just trying to pull up my calendar, I put the, the dates in an email <laughs> to both oh, to Ashley and then to, have, to Neil. I, but there's I basically yeah, there's basically four Tuesdays that would be good. The ones in June were the seventh and the fourteenth. And then in May, I think it was basically starting next week. The 17th. The 17th uh, and the 24th. Um, and I myself, I could cover, um, I think the 17th and the 24th. Um, I might not be back in time for the 14th. I'm definitely not here for the 7th. The other thing that's happening on the 14th is town elections at the town hall. So we could technically be there like all day during election time as well. I did check with Amy and she said that that's not a problem. So, um, yeah, so then those, those are all Tuesdays. So we could have some Tuesdays where there's like regular um, use and it, you could sell, we can sell any tickets there, not just concert tickets, uh, whatever tickets we're selling. Um, if there were some souvenirs that we wanted to put out, at least so that people can see them, um, maybe especially election day, people would be coming by. Um, that might be uh, another good thing to do. So if we can kind of pull that together, we've got one location, that, that, that's nice. Um, there's a table and chair already there. Um, and we would just have to figure out, um, you know, how to bring the merchandise from wherever it's being stored to the town hall. And that's certainly on any days that I'm working, I would certainly um, be able to do that. Excellent. Is that when all this stuff is in the trailer? Yeah. I don't, Joyce, I don't know if you'd be able to haul it, the trailer, would you? Well, we, we don't put it all, we can put most of it in the trailer and hold some out. Yeah. Yeah, you can, I think, just take a subset with I really don't care. I'm just thinking. Yeah, no, I'm just thinking how, how not to have to go into the trailer. Yeah, I would think if it's all. I'll give you the trailer, you do what you want. It's easy. If it rains, you pull the doors. You don't have to move anything. Yeah. Back a trailer in and not hitch it for the day. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I can move the trailer. That's not a big deal. Okay, good. Okay. I am. Um, I, sorry, go ahead. I was going to say, I love these ideas. Besides Joyce, we need people to sign up for when they can sell. Because we can't say that we will be selling them on a day that there's nobody there to do it. So maybe what I will do is I will send around an email to everyone on the committee and beg people to sign up for some shift. Because ideally, we want two people at each shift, you know, quit having one person doing everything yeah. could get a little ahead. Does that yeah. sound okay to people? Yes. 
Yeah, yeah, that's fine. I'm I'm happy to be alone, but because <laughs> yeah, the one think, day, the one day I'm not sure I'll be here is the 14th, and that's the day we need the most. Yeah, I think the ele election day you might need two people, but otherwise I don't think it's going to be inundated where one person yeah. wouldn't be able to handle sales. But I mean, yeah, so we, the, we the certainly really, the app loads on anyone's phone and is really easy to use. Yeah, it's yeah. very very user friendly, and I'm happy to to walk through it in person with anybody who's going to be who's going to be selling um i would love to also have one saturday when we set up at, at or in front of town hall just for people who are working and can't do it for the transfer station yeah yeah that's a good idea I think one or two transfer station shifts would be a great idea. Yeah. And maybe if it's the transfer station, there's two things to keep in mind. Their mornings are very busy. Their afternoons are very slow. So we could probably get away with just doing mornings. And uh, second, I really like the idea of rolling a trailer up uh, if it's the transfer station. Because at the town hall, you've got a place inside, a table, and so on. Um, at the transfer station, not so much. Yeah, unfortunately, Chris is not on this call because she's working with the souvenirs. Okay, well, we will figure this out. I will be in communication, but great ideas. Joyce, while we have you, we were talking before, were you able to talk to uh, Gary about cruise night? I have crossed paths with him that way, but no, I. Uh, as far as I know, there's not a heck of a lot left to be done other than figure out how to get an extension cord out to where the band is going to be. And does he know out. what all we're planning now? Sorry? Does he know what all we're planning? You know, as far as the band and all of that? I did tell him a, a while back that we had the Lonesome Brothers um, and that they would need a corner of the tent that he puts out in the back to be so that they're not in, you know, in the rain, should there be any rain. Um, and then the next thing I've got to get in touch with him about is electricity. But he may not remember because whenever I see him, he's in the middle of doing something else. So yeah. I've got to somehow try, catch him. You can try and have that conversation because John ran into him and he wasn't sure what was going on. Oh. Is that fair? Yeah. I, well, I haven't confirmed a lot of stuff with him since uh, in a little bit. So that okay. it, I completely get that he would say that. Yeah. You also need band confirmation for Oh, do we know band for the barbecue? Oh, um, I'm gonna, uh, I'll ask Paul right now because he was uh, on the verge of confirming that. Right. Okay, excellent. So getting back to ticketing, um, Ashley, so if I'm putting something in the scoop, can you shoot me an email? Because I'm not gonna remember details of what prices we have for each event what we're selling the tickets for yes although joyce we need to we need a decision on what the non-resident price is going to be on those concerts yeah yeah and uh, that i think is something i can chat with paul about um he has a much better idea of what uh, tickets are worth so that's yeah. the only, I think that's the only like pending question, Susan, before like we have all of that stuff ready for the scoop. But yes, I will, I will email that to you. Thank you. Okay. Are we limiting sales to residents so that? Uh, until the, I think the 14th would be the day to limit sales to residents until the 14th and then let it go. That'd give me one meant, week. Yeah, I meant quantity. So a resident can't buy 20 tickets. It's currently set to a maximum of 10 tickets per person, per buyer. We can adjust that to whatever we want. What do people think of that? Does that, does that make sense? I think having a reasonable limit is, is and, and I don't know if 10 is the reasonable limit, but um, I'm just thinking for myself, I know I'll have my, me and my husband and my two sons, and we may have some house guests. We would certainly fit within 10, but I don't know how typical I am. 
Other thoughts on that? I was thinking eight might be the better ten sort of would invite resale people. Yeah, that's all we want to avoid is residents buying them and then selling them to non-residents. <clears throat> Just yeah, I can I can move it down to eight. It's fine. I think that that is a reasonable number. I mean, I think you know somewhere in that range is reasonable. We have them all the same grade for residents and non-residents. That solves that issue. Right? We want to give an advantage to residents um, because the town is sponsor is sponsoring it and paying for it. Joyce, can you ask Paul to get to me a list of fans with costs? What, what's oh okay? All right, yes. That I can I know three out of the four, or at least what we were budgeting for three out of the four. There was one where it was still in negotiation. So yes, I can I'll ask him to do that in the same email that I'm making for him right now. We've talked about anything on infrastructure board about volunteers. Each subcommittee has done a great job of getting the volunteers that they need, and a couple of people have reached out to me for what we call generic volunteers, who I'm inclined to use at this point for, for souvenirs. That seems to be where we most need bodies unless somebody tells me that they still need bodies. We need bodies. I can use a couple. Okay. I'm sorry, floor. Parking? Parking. I'm trying to line up all my own stuff, but I don't know if that part's gonna work out. I'm working on stuff. No, no, I'm, I'm trying to think the, the people have reached out to me. I'm not sure that they would be up for that sort of task, but let me think about that. Yeah, good and if anybody else has ideas for people. I think that can keep waiting another two weeks. I think. Yeah. Okay, we are at eight o'clock. My voice is giving out. Anything else? I have a question. Yes. In the Historical Society, we have a big box that is labeled Bicentennial. And I was thinking about some of the things that are in that box would be of interest. Is there a place where we would be able to, if people wanted to have them display things that had happened or were uh, events in the 200, uh, 50 years ago? What kinds of things? Um, well, like for one thing that is the uh, uh, necktie. The neckties. Necktie, the, the, the coin, probably the, the coins, coins. The coins that went to the, the president. Um, you wouldn't have that set up at the museum? We've got such another exhibit that it, it, would, it, would, it would not fit in. It, it's got, I mean, we could put it somewhere else in the town hall maybe, but. I would suggest maybe at the library on Monday. Ooh, that's a great that's idea. A great idea. That's a great idea. I mean, they could go in the art store if you wanted to upstairs, you know, when you go in the entrance, there's those tables right there. Yeah, the art show, you know. Yeah, you could put them there. So, yeah, I think those are definitely important to get out. I think it'd be fun. Yeah, I like that idea. I just assumed they were going to be displayed already. Well, that went a different direction. That's the history of Waitley in objects. So you're going to walk around and see how Waitley developed rather than just 50 years ago. Joyce, I see your hand up. Oh, yeah. I, um, I, I don't mean to interrupt if you're still in the middle of this. I had a new thing to ask about. Okay. Is there anything else on the, the album? Well, there's a um, the sign that was in front of the town hall that said, come celebrate with us is on the wall in the center school. It needs to come down, obviously, before the center school goes somewhere. I don't know where that could go. And there are, you know, some things around town that are, uh, maybe we could find a place to put it. How big is it? 
four by eight. Four by eight sheet. It's a sheet rock. Uh, put it for tits. They, that's got. Do you want to change? I mean, that's no, no, no. I meant just to, as a souvenir. Oh. That was up fifty years ago. I mean, it's just. Okay, let's. We're not going to solve that now, but let's think about it. Joyce. Oh, I have been uh, happily hosting the Waitley 250 in lights at my house for many months now. And I feel like I probably had it longer than I deserve to. Uh, and I think as we get closer, we might want to get it into someplace else in some part of town near, you know, just so other people besides Westbrook Road show up. Um, Mayor, Mayor, those lights are not at your property anymore. Oh, they're not. Oh. <laughs> I guess I wasn't paying that much attention on the way in today. <laughs> okay. Oh, good. You found it a little more. When the last time you were there, but they they were there this morning, but they're not there now. Oh, okay. So it's recent. <laughs> okay. All right. Good. Then they've been taken care of, and I assume there's a uh, there's an extension cord out there for me to roll up and bring in. There is an extension cord that you should pick up before the lawnmower gets, yes. <laughs> okay, all right. I will do that. Where are the lights headed? They are, I'm trying to coordinate with the people that I sent an email today to the, the people that on that were on my list. And hmm. hopefully the, the first that I'm waiting to hear back from is on Christian Lane. No, oh, that'd be nice. Okay. I was thinking that it, 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 we could have else. They, they could go back next to the milk bottle for the last. Yep, I'll. I'm on that. Good. Okay. I'm so glad you asked that, Joyce. When, <laughs> when does your lawn <laughs> get mowed? <laughs> I, I, I was embarrassed that I didn't notice that it wasn't there on the way back in the house tonight. Anything else? Any other business? Susan, I have a question okay. regarding the special scoop edition, but I can stay on after we end the meeting and ask it. Okay. I want to remind everybody that the agenda is wrong. Our next meeting is May 23rd, not June 6th. At either the May 23rd or the June 6th meeting, I would love to do a meeting with as many people as possible in person because for the commemorative book, we should have a photo of the steering committee. Um, Ellen Skrosky has offered to take such a photo. Do we have a reason one way or another between May 23rd and June 6th? Does anybody know that they will not be? I, I can never be the fourth Thursday. Before, I cannot do the first, the fourth Monday. <clears throat> Remember, I couldn't come last month. I have another commitment on the fourth Monday, so I will not be here, but you can have a picture. I won't be here. Okay, so maybe we say it will be June 6th, and that will be a is my no, I'm not allowed to say this, but I will say it anyway, an in-person only meeting. We have to have a Zoom option for the community, but I would. You, yeah, you have to have the Zoom option and I won't be yeah. there for the six myself. I'll oh. still be traveling, but um, you can Photoshop me in. Okay, send a picture, yes. June 6th, that's the first Monday of the month. Oh. You mean the second, you want the second Monday. Which is too late. June 13th is too late. We won't have time to get it. So we got to do get what? the 23rd uh -huh. or the uh, so left it at the 23rd. Why, it doesn't have to pick a, pick a different night. Why yeah, does it have to be a month? The book isn't getting done until after. We've been doing this for four years on a Monday night. Why do you think we want to change now? OK, let me think about this, and I'll send around the email. And you know, I wish I knew how to do one of those doodle polls or something to get as many people as we can in person. I bet you a hundred dollars somebody here knows how to do a Google poll. Um, anybody? Doodle. doodle. Okay. There you go. <laughs> yeah, I do. I can do a doodle. <laughs> so many people, so many talented okay. people. Um, and then we'll just pick the day where we can get the most the most people. Um, Either that or we get absolutely everybody 
on a Zoom screen and <laughs> oh, that's horrible. I'm not saying that like that. Yeah. Awful. Okay, I will. It also depends on when Ellen is available. Anything else before we adjourn? Ashley, I just wanted to tell you the. I heard back from JD. I just texted him the what you had had nothing has changed. All right, I'll just PDF that. Thing. Yep. Excellent. Thank you, Keith. All right. Thank you. Motion to adjourn. So, second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Good.